To say the New England Patriots defense has performed badly is a massive understatement. Through the first six games of the season, on average, the Patriots have given up 441 yards per game, which is 31 yards worse than the second worst defense in the NFL so far, the Indianapolis Colts. The only reason the Pats are 4-2 and two is because they've compensated for having the worst defense in the league by having the best offense in the league, which is really a testament to Tom Brady considering Julian Edelman is out and Gronk has been limited as well. And the weird thing is, the defense is isn't all that different from last year, which was a unit that allowed the fewest points in the 2016 regular season. The Pats, they simply replaced Logan Ryan with Stefan Gilmore and Ninkovich retired. So why are they so bad? Well, the answer isn't obvious, but if you look at last season's statistics, the Patriots were the number one defense in the league in terms of points allowed, but they dropped down to eighth overall in terms of yards allowed, meaning they still gave up large chunks of yardage. It's just the red zone defense was very effective. Contrast that with this year's red zone defense, which basically places a welcome mat in the end zone. But there's no reason to panic just yet, and here's why. Although the New England defense seemed to get their act together by midseason, through the first four games of uh, 2016, they ranked 20th in red zone defense, 26th in three and outs, and 28th in third down defense. Remember, that was a team that got rid of Jamie Collins after week six and improved dramatically. Quality defense take t- t- quality defenses take time to build, and Belichick acknowledged this earlier this week, uh, saying, maybe I just can't figure it out, but it's incomprehensible to me how anybody could think that a team that practiced for six months and played 19 regular season and postseason games and had triple-digit practices five months later after not playing a game, after having a fraction of that type of experience, could be anywhere close to the level of execution that they were five months before that after all of the things that I just listed. I mean, it's impossible in my view. So each year, you start all over again, you start that process all over again, you build your team over the course of the year through practice repetitions, through preseason or regular season games, through the evolving of your scheme, and that's why each year is different and unique. But I understand I'm in the minority and most people don't see it that way, which is okay, but that That's the way I see it. And that's exactly it. There's a reason the Patriots have been running more man-to-man than they traditionally do. Only the Only the Chiefs run man coverage more than the Pats do. But remember, the defensive backs, particularly Stephon Gilmore, who's been hurt as of late, uh, blew zone coverage a number of times in Week 1 against Kansas City. It's just a matter of getting on the same page. And simply judging from the last few seasons, Belichick approaches his defense with delayed gratification instead of trying to put out a complete unit right away. I would expect the Pats to add more complexity and play more zone as the season progresses. So don't assess New England's defense in week 7, assess it in week 15. If it's anything like last year, they'll improve a lot between now and then. 